My name is Jesse Elmore. I currently work at Habitat for Humanity of Wake County as the Director of Construction. I am Justine Davey. I am currently serving as a school counselor. I'm Erica Brandt. I work as the Housing and Community Development Manager. I am Alachi Anna Maribe. I am currently working as a project manager for a construction management and general contracting company. I met Erica and Justine my first year of AmeriCorps. I definitely came in with no experience. We quickly all became three best friends and kind of confidants. My second year of AmeriCorps is when I met Owachi, also at Habitat Wake, uh, and we became best friends as well. I chose to join AmeriCorps because I was looking for a change. I signed up for AmeriCorps right after I graduated from college. I knew that I wanted to pursue a career in interior design and construction. For me, I mean, AmeriCorps completely shaped my plans because I didn't really have any. I really wanted to give back some type of way. I wanted to do something I was passionate about. It was a chance to learn new skills and meet new people. What better way than to get that training on site? I realized Habitat for Humanity was the perfect opportunity for me to be able to make this career change. You really get more back than you give it. I almost feel very selfish having done those two years because I flash forward seven years later and it's given me my career and it's given me great friendships. And so I would not be the, the position that I'm in right now without that bridge of AmeriCorps. One of the unexpected things that came out of my AmeriCorps year was the confidence that I gained. And I think that that's something that I've taken with me that like, wow, I can build a house. I can do a lot of other things too. Being a young woman on a job site doing construction, a skill that none of us had ever done before and had zero experience with, the foundation that gets laid in just one year can really translate into such a massive amount of knowledge and skill in this industry. And I think that's pretty amazing. It's just really cool what a like strong bonding point AmeriCorps and Habitat both are for creating these lasting relationships. In no other world would these types of people be able to cross paths across social and racial lines in a way that we did on a Habitat construction site. That physical impact that you're making on a city, like you drive by a neighborhood or drive by a house that you laid your hands on and helped build, like that is amazing really it's, it's such a powerful way to feel connected to your community I actually run into um some of the homeowners that i've worked with and it's awesome because people do remember you you know that like you had some kind of impact in this neighborhood you've had some type of impact with this family and they've impacted you like you never forget those experiences you never forget the time you know that you put in and how it's really grown you as a person Every step of the way, I have just fallen more in love with Habitat for Humanity um, and the work that we are doing. When you surround yourself with multiple people that have that same vision, that same passion as you do, it just, it makes work not feel so much like work. The four of us are proof that with our AmeriCorps experience at the foundation of our careers, like we've been able to do really amazing things. I, I think the AmeriCorps program, the way it was designed, it it really has created this platform where we are building bridges. Everyone should serve their community in some kind of way. We're all here to lend helping hands to one another. And so I just think it's really important to have the opportunity to serve.